I am Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraka in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the Weather Now link Friday evening. It's around 930 and we are looking at uh, mild temperatures this evening. High temps today. Look at this upper 40s to even 50 in Providence. These numbers are well above the average high, which is about 39. And the precipitation that we're expecting overnight through Saturday, this will be in the form of rain. Of course, there's really not enough uh, cold air around. Could end as a flurry late, late Saturday night, pre-dawn Sunday, but nothing more than that. All right, here's what we're looking at. Rain overnight. Now, we're taping this as of about 9.30 in the evening on Friday. So rain arriving during the overnight. Uh, rain, showers, wet weather for a better part of Saturday, especially during the daylight hours. We're thinking by Saturday evening, Saturday night. Uh, it's not as wet. That's not to say it'll clear out and dry out for Saturday night, but we're thinking it's going to be more of a mist or some drizzle rather than a steady rain, at least Saturday night. But uh, grab the umbrellas for Saturday day. And Sunday looks drier. Maybe a flurry during the pre-dawn hours, but otherwise a windy, colder, drier, some partial sunshine. And looking at temperatures on Sunday, mid and upper 30s, but enough of a wind on Sunday to make it feel a little colder. All right, here's a satellite and radar composite. And you can see, you get these uh, showers already approaching, uh, looks like southeastern Connecticut as of uh, 9.30. So this is tracking off to the east. So we're going to get some showers in here shortly, if not already, and then that'll continue through the overnight. Let me widen out the view here, and you can see there's really nothing uh, scattered about this precipitation. It's widespread south of New York City, out towards Pennsylvania. This actually extends all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. So we're getting some of this moisture overnight and streaming in here through most of Saturday, along with cool temperatures. Not cold, but cool. We're thinking highs on Saturday around 40 to 45. And you can see now these are the temp temperatures as of, again, 930 Friday night. And there's really not a lot of bitter cold air around. And we're not cold enough for snow here in the northeast. But even in the northern plains, while it is, you know, chilly, it, it's not extreme. I mean, for early January, uh, it's not too bad. The, the real cold air is locked up in Canada. And for the time being, there's really no mechanism to drive it down. So while Sunday will be a colder day, there's nothing really extreme. Now, let me show you the, the wider view first, and it shows the moisture coming in overnight. Here we are. This is uh, Saturday morning, 9 a.m. Of course, the green represents rain. The blue is snow. That'll be confined to the, uh, the ski areas of northern New England. This is uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And then notice by Saturday evening, Saturday night, the bulk of the precipitation moves out. So it's not dry Saturday night, but it's not as wet in terms of precipitation intensity. I'm thinking it's more of a kind of a nuisance, either mist or sprinkles Saturday evening, Saturday night. It's actually uh, good news for the Patriots game. So while that game will be damp, uh, we don't see downpours or real heavy rain. So, I mean, a little bit of good news there. Getting, getting closer here, and we'll go through this hour by hour, and you can see the rain overnight. And here we are. This is 6 o'clock in the morning. That is the rain, temps in the upper 30s to low 40s. Here we are at 10 a.m. Still grab the umbrella, keep it nearby. Temps low 40s. Okay, green is rain, the uh, gray is the cloud cover. Uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, scattered showers, temps in the uh, low 40s. So we'll call that cool but not cold. And then here we are at 8 o'clock in the evening. And it's, it's cool, it's cloudy, it's damp, it's humid. Uh, but we don't see any widespread soaking rain. So, and, and I point this out because this is a little bit of good news for both the spectators and the players of the Patriots game, which the kickoff in Foxborough is at 8.15, so it's a Saturday night game. And here we are at 11 o'clock. It's in the um, mid to upper 30, so it's chilly and damp. And there will be some occasional mist or sprinkles, but no downpours. That's about the best we can do. And these temperatures really not bad for a January football game at, at night. You know, it's in the mid-30s, so chilly but not extremely cold. Let me take a look at um, forecast for your Saturday morning with a light rain, likely cool. Temps in the upper 30s to low 40s. We'll get some uh, areas of fog as well. And the rain will continue off and on for Saturday afternoon, looking high temperatures between roughly uh, 40 and 45. All right, seven-day forecast shows that wet weather on Saturday. Let me show you the um, Patriots in more detail. Now, tailgating... During the afternoon, rain is likely, but by game time, between 8 and 11 p.m., it's more of a drizzle or some mist and sprinkles. So damp, yes, soaker, heavy rain, not expected. Although temperature's chilly, I mean, dress warm, obviously, temps in the mid to upper 30s. Uh, the afternoon, uh, 
temperature on Saturday about about 45. Now we are colder on Sunday, and it will feel colder only because Sunday is actually a very windy day. Could be a snow shower or a flurry very early in the morning. Not a big deal. Some partial sunshine developing, especially by afternoon. Temps mid and upper 30s, but enough of a wind. We may see gusts up to 30 miles per hour. So I'm thinking wind chills. The feel like temperatures are probably going to be running in the 20s. Uh, Monday, uh, upper 30s to low 40s with a blend of clouds and sun. What's interesting about Monday now, we're not getting a storm, but a brief uh, early morning snow shower can't be ruled out during the morning commute, then becoming partly sunny. Cool but not cold. That seems to be the theme of late. Temperatures topping out in the lower 40s. Uh, next chance for precipitation. It looks like kind of a Tuesday evening, Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. We're thinking probably rain showers Tuesday night and may end the snow showers Wednesday morning. It does turn colder for one day next Thursday in the mid 30s, only to see signs, but that by next Friday, a return to a milder air. All right, that's your latest weather now update. Thanks for logging in. We'll talk to you soon.